guys, welcome to Chickenlandia. I am the president of Chickenlandia, and today I'm going to show you another chicken coop hack that's gonna make it so much easier for you to clean your chicken waterer. So let's do it. So basically every video I make, I talk about all the poop that is in my coop. And let me tell you, I'm not lying. <laughs> there is a lot of poop in my coop right now because it's colder, the days are shorter, the chickens are spending a lot more time in here. So I'm having to come out here pretty much every day and make sure to stay on top of the poop. I do that because I don't want the ammonia to build up in here and it just creates more moisture, which we don't want. I am having a bit of a problem right now because my roost is a ladder and it is super cute. I love it, but it's close to the wall and so the chickens poop on the wall a lot. But I've got a new idea for a new hack and I'm going to be showing you guys that soon, so stay tuned. It's all very exciting. I love making things easy and fun. That is the Chickenlandia way. So since the weather is getting colder, it was time for me to get out my heated chicken waterer, which is actually a heated duck waterer because I have to have something where the ducks can dip their faces in it. Um, if you have ducks, it's really important for them to get their whole beak and faces in the water and the winter time is no exception for that. Last year, I left my waterer sitting out past the time that I needed it and it developed a little bit of mildew. And I put bleach in it, I put vinegar in it, I was really trying to clean it out. I could not get inside of it with a scrub brush to really work on that mildew and it needed to be scrubbed. I couldn't do that because the opening of the duck water is very small compared to how large the actual container is. I didn't know what to do, so I consulted my trusted friend, Julie, who, if you have been watching Welcome to Chickenlandia for a while, you know that she helps me with a ton of stuff. So I asked her, hey, Julie, what do I do? I can't clean this water out correctly. And she said, you need a carboy brush. And I said, what is a carboy brush? Because I had no idea. <laughs> so here is a carboy brush. Look at that. Super cool. It can reach into things and clean it out. And what this is actually used for is a type of bottle that is called a carboy. Carboys can be used to store liquids. They are used in the fermentation process of beer and wine. And so I didn't know where to buy this. And I asked Julie, I said, okay, so where do I go to buy this? And she said, go to a beer and wine shop. So I did. I walked in and I said, I need a carboy brush. And the guy said, they're right there. <laughs> and they were <laughs> right there by the counter. So I was super happy. And I'm gonna show you just how easy it was to clean my duck slash chicken waterer with this brush. Because there are so many different types of chicken waterers, I was thinking, well, we need to have different brushes for the different types of chicken waterers. So I just wanna show you this little kit that I bought. I am not sponsored by this company. I found this set on Amazon. I just Googled wine brushes or wine cleaning brushes. And it's just a super handy set of little brushes that will make it so much easier for you to clean these 
types of waterers. There are some chicken waterers that just have these like super small areas that need to be cleaned. And so that's where a brush like this can really come in handy. You, could, you can uh, kind of mold it the way you want, stick it into the bottle and clean it up that way. So anyway guys, that is my super easy chicken hack. Stay tuned for my next hack. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna add some more personality to my chicken coop, which is always welcome. And remember, you're always welcome in Chickenlandia.